Here's what Mike Rinder published long after he left the Church of Scientology, long after he started attacking Scientology, long after he started making a living exclusively by attacking Scientology, he published this. For you to repre for you represent something L. Ron Hubbard aboard, blind obedience and an inability to think for yourself. The single thing that is the hallmark of a real Scientologist is their ability to understand themselves and others. Inherent in that ability is being able to think for yourself. It was the perfect marketing phrase for Scientology as it communicates so well and so simply what the whole subject is about. Okay? This isn't lifted from something he did while he was being paid by Scientology to be their public relations officer. This was something he said four years after that fact. And not only did he say it, he published it. Another thing that, uh, that is a repeating theme throughout the series that Rinder does, um, conveys, uh, along with Remedy and all their talent, is this idea that the Sea Org, um, this religious order of Scientology, is, um, is so strict and authoritarian that there's no life to be had. In fact, she even says that there's no life to be had as a Scientologist, right? And they attribute that to the small minority of people who have dedicated their lives to the, to the religion, the Sea Org. Uh, because it's so, you know, there's no time, there's no, <clears throat> the life is just miserable, dreary labor, right? Here's what Mike Rinder is published on that score. Life in the sea organization wasn't luxurious, but there was tremendous spree de corps. Worked hard and played hard. If it, could have, if it could have gone on forever, I would still be there, okay? <clears throat> Three years after he left, two years after he began making a living <laughs> by going after Scientology, 